Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Stephen and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video presentation of this fantastic 2011 Mitsubishi Pajero Platinum. Starting at the front, as you can see, fitted with a factory genuine bull bar. Very good alloy bull bar, has the fog lamps in it as well. Looking at the paintwork of this pearl white, really good condition. As you can see, the front on the bonnet is really good condition, no stone chip marking on it at all. As we come around, we'll head round to the driver's side now. The paintwork continues really well through. We've got our indicators in the guard as well for the side. Coming down, I can't see any marks on the paintwork. Looking at the tyres, I can't get my fingers all the way down in the tread. Really good tread. Looking at the alloy wheel, really good condition as well. No big scuff marks on it at all. As we come through, we've got our colour-coded mirrors as well, which do fold all the way in. The other good thing, colour-coded door handles, and we've got our nice chrome strip on the doors as well to really finish it off being a platinum. Side steps on this one, genuine as well. Looking at the back, we do have our privacy glass, which is really good. And as I said about the paintwork coming through, presents really well on this car. I haven't seen a mark on it as yet. Someone has loved this car. Looking at the back tyre, good tread on it as well. Sticking my finger in, I can only just touch the bottom. Looking at the rim, really good condition as well. So as we come around to the back of the Pajero here, you can see we've got our spare wheel on the hanger. We've got our uh, nice big rear windscreen with our high mount wiper there as well. We've got our nice badging on the side with the platinum there as well. Now the good thing is we do have a tow bar under there too. Now this car is three ton towing, braked as well. And you will notice that we do have an Anderson plug there as well for caravanners, which is really good. As we open up the back, we can lock our door open so it won't close on you. We do have a little storage compartment in the back here. Not sure what you'll store there, just your safety flags, I guess, for on your trips. We've got our back seats up at the moment. Looking at these, very nice and easy as well to put that forward. And when we can fold these away, we do have our tow bar there. So you can see, nice big storage underneath. So if you do have your seats out, you can store plenty down there. Your jack and tools are underneath as well. And they just roll underneath. Nice and easy like that. And cover up. So as you can see, the carpet's in really good condition at the back. We do have our 12 volt power socket on the side there. And you will notice we do have a nice big sub on the side here. It does have the Rockford Fosgate sound system in here as well. So I'll get our cameraman while he's at the back. He can shoot up and show you the roof, how clean it is as well. I can't see up there because I'm a bitch. As we come around the left-hand side of the car here, this is where you're normally going to see more damage on a car from shopping trolleys and stuff like that. Looking at the bodywork along the back, presents absolutely fantastic, good condition. Looking at the back tyre, really good condition as well. Looks like it's almost brand new. Looking at the rim, in fantastic condition as well. No scuffs on there. Coming through, the paintwork continues to be the same. Really good, well looked after as well. So as we come further through to the front, the guard presents really well. No markings on the guard at all. Good tyre tread in there as well on the front left hand rim. Now this is usually the one that you are going to cop some marks on and I can't see any marks on the, on the uh, alloy wheel as well. Alright, now to the front of the car, back underneath the bonnet, we're going to go through the engine here. We do have a four cylinder 3.2 litre engine producing 147 kilowatts of power, 441 newton metres of torque. All this is coupled with the 5-speed auto 4x4 system, so it's going to give you an average fuel consumption of 9.2 litres per 100 kilometres. So out of our 88 litre tank, we're going to get approximately 957 kilometres of driving. Okay, now to the inside of this great 2011 Pajero Platinum. We'll start on the driver's side. We've got all our window switches and our door locks here on the, the uh, door handle. Now, I'll just turn the wheel so our cameraman can see. We've got our mirror controls down here with our fog lamps and our rear fog lamp as well. Now, as I said, the mirrors do fold in on this, so you can just push that button if you need to, to fold them in. Otherwise, you can do it off the key lock as well. 
So as we come around, we do have our auto headlights too, sorry. So really good. You never have to worry about getting a flat battery with your headlights, leaving them on auto. As we come around to the steering wheel, we have our cruise control on the right hand side. We have our radio and stereo controls on the left hand side here and at the phone we've got our voice operated Bluetooth system here for our phone, which is really good. On the left hand side we do have our indicator stalk which is on the end of it, has the rear wiper and on the front here you can see we also have, have the auto as well. So you can just click it one click down sorry, into auto and you'll never have to worry about it. We have our sensor up here on the window that picks up how much rain is actually going across it and the wipers will speed up and slow down for you. As we come across to the centre of the screen we do have a digital readout at the top here showing you a distance uh, for your fuel as we go through our in info button here we do have the average speed outside temperature your elevation and your barometer also gives you the date so you can go right through and see your average fuel kilometers as well as we come down we do have sat nav here so if it is all touch screen so you can bring it up it's touch screen radio station as well you can also push the map button and brings up for your sat nav unit as well as we come down further, we do have our digital climate control, so if we turn it on, it goes through, you can change your modes, your temperature on this side, and then if you push the auto button, it will automatically speed up the fan and slow it down as needed to keep you at that temperature. We've got our handbrake lever here wrapped in leather, which is really good. As we go to our transmission, uh, if we put it in reverse, straight up, comes your nice big reverse camera there so a nice good clear screen as well and then coming down we do have our five speed transmission we can put it across into our tiptronic mode so really good for when you're towing you can just keep it out of overdrive and just keep it in the lower gears or use it to slow yourself down now just on that towing note i did forget to mention just down on the left hand side here we do have our electric brake controller which is really good as well as we come across to the left hand side of the transmission we have our super select four wheel drive system really good you can drive it as a two wheel drive an all wheel drive or a four wheel drive um, so great for off on and off road wet weather conditions dry weather as well now through our center console we do have a cup holders there in the center we've got a tray at the top for our phone we do have another lever here for underneath opens up to a nice deep storage box we do have a 12 volt power socket in there as well now if we put this down we do have another lever on the front so you can slide that forward as a nice armrest as well which is really good as you can see as we've glanced across when you look at the interior condition of this car it has been really well looked after the seats present really well it does have six airbags in here to keep the family nice and safe as well and as we go through while the cameraman scanning around for us, uh, I'll grab the service book and just touch on the service history for you. Um, as we go through, the service book has been stamped up to date. So you've got your 15,000, 30,000, 45, 60, 75, all stamped and serviced, which is really good. Coming back through 90, 105, and it has had a minor service at 115 as well. So full stamps all the way through, which is really good. Okay, so that was our walk around video presentation today of our 2011 Mitsubishi Pajero Platinum. If you have any more questions on this car, please give any one of the staff members here at Berwick Mitsubishi a call on 9907 and thanks for watching.